Right, making a diesel flow meter to test my injectors in my 335D. Already made a video yesterday, but it was about 15 minutes long, and I changed my mind how many times I was going to build this. So um, I thought rather than upload me changing my mind every five minutes, I'll just edit the video I took yesterday and add it onto the end of this one and just show you how I made this. Um, yeah, you can have just pipes going into some plastic bottles and then throw away, but I wanted something I could reuse. Uh, so this kind of setup, I can just pop in my drawer, leave it over there, you know, and just bring it out whenever I need it. So I'll just show you now how I actually made this specific one, because I did have, you know, different ideas about how to do it, but I'll just show you the ones that are relevant to how I made this. Right, today's project is going to be testing my injectors or building at least the tool to test the injectors. It's pretty much a flow meter. So you get them for about 30 quid uh, on eBay. Cheap little set, but um, I thought we'll do it a little bit cheaper. So been to the pound shop, get a pack of these. It's like, uh, you know, the little things you take out abroad with a see-through case and you get the so many mills. Uh, so I bought two packs of them, which give me eight bottles, but I only need six. Bought some three mil clear silicon tube. But then realised I had some at home anyway. And this is probably a mil more in diameter. So depending on, I'd probably go with a slightly thicker one. Uh, my plan is to use a brake union that I've got out of my brake kit. You get it with, you know, you get a selection of them when you buy some copper brake line. That fits in there nice and snug. Some are tighter than others, but might have to have a little bit of tape around there. Once it fits in there nice and snug, I'll put a bit of brake line through the centre. Put a heat on the end of that, slide it on the brake line. Six of them, bish bash bosh. I'll make a little plate for them to sit in. So when you've got them underneath your bonnet, they're not flopping everywhere. So we'll get the bottles made at first and then we'll look at the at the bench, uh, at the, making the actual base. Right, new plan attack. Six holes, the holes big enough for that almost to thread in. It'll go in, we'll hang that from something, we'll go in from the bottom, gives you a nice clear view of what's in the jar. I'll get these holes drilled out, and then we'll see where we are. Right, six pilot holes drilled. We'll go in with the stepper. I've done a pilot hole here. And then that threads in nice. And then that'll hold them all. We'll make a hanging bracket from there. Ooh, bring it down. So that threads in nice. And then we'll make a hammer hanging bracket and that'll hold it all nice. Right, change the plan again. I was gonna do it. I was gonna do it so the lid screws on. That will hold it in, and I was going to cut the top of the lid off so I could thread that into there. But if you look at the lid, there's a little hole there. So if I go back to the bits I cut, if I heat that up and press it in there, that will keep it there. I can just put my hose on top, and it's done. New plan. Let's go with it. Right. See if we can get this to work. With a little heat. Let's see if she'll go. Ah, oh, it's perfect. Still see light through it. Beautiful. We'll make a few of them. That thing's going top. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's come together. Right, let's do the other five. Right, so I've got six of these made. See they come at the bottom. Focus. See through it. So these 
holes, bottles go through there, lid goes on top, like so. We have six of them in a row coming off, and that's pretty much not far off built. I'll just finish it up and I'll show you the end result. That's pretty much what we end up with. I'll just deburr some of these edges. All I'm doing for that is using a metal ruler, drag it along. That gets rid of most of the of the rough stuff. So pretty much what we're looking at. Let's get a bit of sandpaper just to finish it off. So just so we're on the same page. We get the bottles. Screwing on like so, all the way along, I'll hang that and then have the pipes coming off. So that's pretty much what I did, I drilled um, a relief hole in there, just so when the diesel's filling up, it's got, you know, the air's got somewhere to go, doesn't pressurise. That screws on, there like so. So you've got all your filling bottles and just put the hoses on and we're done. And all we're doing to get them on is give it a little heat with the heat gun. Doesn't need much, just enough for it to get a little bit pliable. And we're sticking it on. That's pretty much it. Last one to do, we'll button it up and then I'll show you the final result. And that's pretty much what we end up with. So, you've got your six bottles. These will go to each injector. You can rest that anywhere. As long as it's reasonably upright, you'll be fine. It's not going to leak. Well, we hope it's not going to leak. I'll test it. On my next set of three off and I'll put a video up and see how we get on see if any of my injectors need any work or not um, and that's pretty much it I'll make a couple more holes in there so we can hang that off something and that's done so if you ever want to make one nice and simple thank you for watching please like and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you very much